explain to me what What's do you up, think man? this what do you think this is going to accomplish in the white house at the white house nothing, Capitol? nothing but i tell you what it's going to accomplish a lot with us because it's not about black out it's about blacking in yes. we really have a lot of power as soon as we understand that the only way we're going to bring justice is for building our own situation See, I'm in the Gave movement. Yeah, we yeah, about yeah. building a nationalist base. Okay. It's all right to have civil rights, but when you don't have human rights and human respect, you don't have no civil rights. So this will help wake us up to the reality of what we need to be about, and that is building for our own selves and taking our own justice in our own hands. All right. That don't mean acting like they act. That means acting with humanity, but dignity and real justice. If we got to create our own systems. That's what we got to do, brother. All right, my brother. Power. Black power, bro. All right, as you heard it live and up front from a brother who really feels that this we time for change justice. and change we is due. Man, justice. this we time for change we and change justice. is due. That's something we need to think about right there. No peace. No peace. No peace. Why do you feel the way that you do? Too many homeless people. Undeserving of Yeah. So what are we contributing to this country? All right. I agree. I agree. Bad deals. All right. What do we want? Justice. 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 What do we want? Excuse me, my brother from Morehouse. Yes, indeed. How are you, sir? I'm doing fine. How are you? Are, are you a true I'm alumni of Morehouse? I'm a graduate of the class of 70. All right. And to make it more authentic than that, I'm a native Atlanta, a Grady baby, and I'm 60 years old, so you well, can't God see bless a more genuine ATL. <laughs> I'm born in Atlanta. All right, now. I'm following the real deal. <laughs> and I'm Morehouse. an activist. I was oh. there when Dr. King was assassinated as a student, a 20 year old student. That was April of 1968, it's 2008, 40 years later, and here I'm still here. Fighting, Fighting for the, the cause, cause for the struggle. God bless you, brother. I'm Alvin Dollar in Atlanta, right. thank you, All right. All right. Uniquely black, man, uniquely okay. black. All right. Where you at, here? I'm right here in the D.C. area, metropolitan area. Thank you, man. I'm here chronicling this because 30, 40 years from now, you can pull this out and show it to people. It's quite a day. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Fighting for injustice, and it's real sad that talking 40 years after Dr. King's death that we still talk about racism. We talk about pervasive racism. Oh yes, oh yes, racism. oh yes. So this country's got to deal with it. And it's time for the black man truly to stand up and make his presence known as being more than just a thug and a criminal. We got to deal more with self-love of ourselves, exactly. but we got to also show unity as a group that we need respect yes, indeed. as a community. Yes, so indeed. We got to yes, continue indeed. to talk to our young people. I'm glad to see this cross-section of generations here, too. I was just inspired by a group of uh, young people from a, a preparatory school on K Street here in yes. Washington. Yes. And I can feel my future in those young people. So I feel today That's is what one it's of all those about. days that brings us together for us to kind of refocus on where our community needs to be headed. I so agree, sir. Bless right. this day. We bless our people. That's Power right. To the Power to the people. All right. And your name is, brother? I'm Alvin Dollar. And again, I'm a native Atlanta and I'm a graduate of Morehouse, as you can see. And yes, I'm yes. Jesse Jackson Delegate in 88. And I'm yeah. fired up with Obama. I think he brings up as much as Jesse, but even more in terms of what he can do and where he's coming from. So, All right. I was a part of the, uh, in Atlanta this summer was the uh, U.S. Social Justice Forum that brought probably 100,000 people to Atlanta to deal with social justice issues. Okay. And this is focusing on a cross section of issues that um, our people are facing, the people throughout the world are facing. Yeah. There's a lot of economic injustice in this country as well as in the world. We've got to continue to deal yes, with that indeed. as well. Yes, indeed. So thank and you. the brothers like you, uh, fighting for the causes, we can make uh, some changes in this country. Together, we, together can, make we can make a change. Together, together. I agree. Thank God bless. Right. Thank right. you. Can't take it no more. That's right. We can hear the chant and heartfelt emotion from my brothers and sisters.
Justin Bay. Some people just refuse to see anything. Wow, right here in our nation's capital. No peace! What a shame. No peace. We're still going. It's like our going on our third lap. 